One of the biggest names in Silicon Valley history is facing a legal battle. Google co-founder Sergey Brin is being sued for wrongful death. This stems from a plane crash near Half Moon Bay last year. The widow of the pilot says Brin and others are preventing her from recovering her husband's body. NBC's Ian Cole has the exclusive interviews. On May 20th, 2023, a twin-engine seaplane crashed trying to get back to Half Moon Bay. It turns out it was Google co-founder Sergey Brin's plane. The two people on board, both pilots, died. And this month, a wrongful death lawsuit was filed. When I met my husband 23 years ago, uh, we've been together for everything. Maggie Olarte McLean is the one suing, saying she's devastated by the death of her husband, Lance. She says he was a Navy pilot with experience flying all over the world and was one of Bryn's pilots for years. McLean and another pilot were flying the plane to Hawaii and then on to Fiji for Bryn and his guests to use there. The complaint says the plane didn't have the fuel capacity for the trip, so Bryn and others had a mechanic put in an authorized and illegally installed auxiliary fuel system in the fuselage. The suit claims the added tank malfunctioned hours into the flight, so the plane couldn't use any of the fuel. McLean immediately turned the plane around to try and get back to California, but it ran out of fuel and crashed just a few miles short of Half Moon Bay. I follow every single second and moment when he, they were looking for my husband and they left without saying one single word to me and they abandoned the, the things. Maggie says she wants her husband's remains, which were never recovered. The suit alleges Bryn and his agents decided to leave him at the bottom of the ocean along with evidence that would establish the defendants were responsible for the crash that killed the two pilots. I know my husband is in heaven. I know my husband is in a good place. But these kind of things cannot happen to my husband or any person because that's not right. That's not a human decency for our, our loved ones. The lawsuit was filed in the South Bay. A spokesperson for Bryn's family office sent a statement saying we are deeply saddened by the loss of the crew piloting the Twin Otter airplane and our sympathies remain with the families. We are not able to comment on pending legal action at this time. In Silicon Valley, Ian Cole, NBC, Bay Area News. As obviously as a pilot, this one kind of hits home for me, and it's close, literally close to home. Um, I've flown in and out of Half Moon Bay a whole bunch of times. Um, that Twin Otter is a really a pretty impressive airplane, turboprop. It's capable of carrying an awful lot of fuel, and obviously they put on the auxiliary fuel tanks. Uh, I have a hard time buying that there was some illegal uh, uh, setup. Um, it's pretty unlikely that somebody would put install something like that. I mean, these come as kits. You need a, a, an aircraft A&P mechanic to put it in um, and sign off on it. So th there's parts of this that don't exactly sound right to me. Um, also that it, it failed to work and that they were able to, you know, go some distance, turn around and head back and ran out of gas. That, that part of that doesn't make sense either because that should have been an enormous amount of fuel. Um, so uh, there's just parts of this that, that don't really add up to me. Uh, as far as it being, uh, you know, the Google guy's responsibility, you know, ultimately the, you know, the ownership of the plane is his. Um, certainly that would bring into question some of the uh, liability here. But ultimately, a plane's uh, airworthiness rests with the pilot. So it is the pilot has the ultimate decision on whether or not to fly a plane and is responsible for verifying the maintenance that's been performed and that it's safe to fly. So at the end of the day, it's the pilot who made that decision and may not have asked enough questions about those auxiliary fuel tanks and uh, has a great deal of the responsibility in that um, in this accident. Um, you know, and this pilot, you know, again, being a Navy pilot, a military pilot with a ton of experience, um, they, you know, military pilots are pretty top notch in my opinion, and unlikely to do stupid things, risky things, um, and have a, a an ex really great foundation of like academic knowledge on, on aviation. So uh, there's a bunch of this that just frankly doesn't make sense to me, and that would all come out in the discovery process in, in a lawsuit like this. So unfortunately, you know, if you're one of the founders of Google, you are a target. Um, 
because there's a huge pot of gold at the end of that rainbow. Um, and that's sort of an incentive. So unfortunate, uh, you know, to see another couple of pilots die, um, and have an accident, but, uh, it'll be interesting to see how the facts come out of this one. I, I, I don't, I don't think it's fair to make a draw a conclusion this quick with this little information. If those were janky or illegal tanks that were not supposed to be in that aircraft and it wasn't signed off by an A&P mechanic um, and they were not installed legally, properly, however you want to put it, um, I think it, it would really raise more questions about how involved was the owner of the plane in performing that and demanding that it was done. Um, I mean, the assumption was that he'd be involved or, you know, pushing for that outcome, in which case, yeah, there would be some liability in that. I mean, you created a dangerous condition, you've already violated those laws and FAA rules uh, that played a part in this, uh, in this terrible accident. So, uh, again, super interesting story, tragic, um, but I think you kind of have to wait and see how the facts come out of this thing. Let us know what you think in the comments below. And while you're down there, please like and subscribe. Thanks again for watching.